I think teams that win the Stanley Cup peak at the right time. Uh, they also are as healthy as they can be at that time of the year. There's a lot of things that have to fall into place, and there's always a little bit of luck that goes with it. So as I mentioned earlier, there's been eight seed teams that have won. just goes to show you that it doesn't matter uh, where you finish. It's, it's how well you play at that time of the year. And, you know, uh, you play your best hockey at the right time, you got a chance to win yourself a Stanley Cup. Sitting down with Montreal Canadiens head coach Claude Julien, uh, I'm gonna right off the bat. I'm gonna take the opportunity of sitting down in your office to ask you, how at home do you feel uh, sitting here uh, just a few weeks after being hired by the Montreal Canadiens again? Well, I think I'm pretty comfortable right now, and uh, it's helped that I've been here before. It's my second time around, but also, you know, it's been uh, uh, quite a few weeks now, so I'm, I'm feeling very comfortable. This, this has become a routine for me now to come in here and. You know, obviously this is a new uh, facility that wasn't here, but, uh, you know, the Bell Center is still the same. And uh, so feel at home. I'm feeling really at home right now. You mentioned this is your second stint uh, behind Montreal's bench. Being away for a little bit more than 10 years, what have you missed the most about this market, this organization? Well, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to be in Boston where sports is a, is a big thing there as well. So uh, there's no doubt there's a, a little bit of similarities here between the two cities, but uh, uh, Montreal is unique. Montreal's hockey team is, is everybody's life around here and uh, it's the big thing. And, uh, you know, so obviously this is a, an organization that is well respected around the league. It's a first class organization and uh, to walk in the, on the streets, uh, it's hard to, to go anywhere without uh, being recognized because people just love their team, they love their people. So it's a pretty special place to be in. We talked about similarities. One of the major differences this time around, you're coming in mid-season, like your first time, but you're coming in to coach a first te a first place team. How different and how tough of a challenge has that been? Well, you know, I guess it's a good situation to be in. At least you know you're you're in a good position when you're taking over a team. And uh, but the, the biggest thing right now is to uh, coming in was that helped me was my experience. You know, uh, the first time I was a rookie coach coming in mid-season this time here. I've had a lot of experience in the league, so I was able to uh, adapt fairly quickly with the help of, uh, obviously, the assistant coaches that were here gave me uh, the information that, that I needed uh, in order to help turn this uh, team around. And, and the biggest thing was, how do we get this team to play well again so that we can remain a top team? And uh, so the help of everybody around here was, uh, was huge for me, and it made my transition a lot easier. So you're saying the coaching staff being intact, all the assistants, actually helped Claude Julien's transition to behind the bench? Oh, absolutely. There's some good coaches here. You know, uh, I mentioned Clément Jodouin, who uh, was here the first time I came around, and those other coaches I, I knew already personally. And uh, so it was, a, it was easy to adapt to this group of, of, uh, of coaches. So uh, they've helped me a lot. Uh, you know, all the questions, all the information I needed, they were... Uh, they were giving me the, the answers. So, uh, you know, when it, when it was time to approach the team, I knew exactly where I wanted to go with that just because they were helpful. They'd been here. They knew exactly what was going on. In your only public statement after being fired by the Boston Bruins, you mentioned wanting being ready to take a step back. Days, hours later, you're hired by the Montreal Canadiens. What made you change your mind so quickly? Well, I really intended to take a step back, you know, with the 10 years in the same place, the Olympics, the Worlds, and all that stuff. I'd done a lot of hockey, and uh, but I had said that the only way I would uh, consider going somewhere else would have to be the perfect uh, situation. And I think here uh, with Montreal was that perfect situation. I mean, I mentioned it before, first-class organization. I would worked with Mark Bergeron at the World Cup this year, and... Uh, you know, we seem to have pretty good uh, chemistry, you know, in chatting and getting along. And uh, at the same time, you know, uh, being from the auto region, I was getting closer to home. But uh, there was a lot of things that uh, fell into place. I, I, I felt comfortable here. I'd been here before. I knew what to expect. So uh, this was the unique situation that uh, I said I would accept. So I was glad that uh, this came around and, and I'm glad to be here. The personal transition we've talked about, if we focus on what's been happening on the ice, um, with all of your experience coming in and having to react quickly, 
after the, the mandatory break there. What did you feel was the first uh, order? What, what was the first thing you needed to adjust seeing this team? Well, I think it was to rebuild their confidence. You know, uh, I think they had lost that confidence because they hadn't been winning. You know, when you don't win, any team is going to be going through that. And uh, again, in talking to my coaches and then seeing what was going on, I think the best thing I could do, first and foremost, besides, you know, making small adjustments here and there that we did make, was to make those guys believe in themselves again, uh, make them enjoy the game, make them enjoy coming to the rink and having some fun. And, you know, that was the main thing because your attitude dictates a lot of things in this game. And uh, having the right attitude, the right approach was a the most important thing I thought. And then afterwards, we, we kept working with parts of our game that the, came around. So I think that was the first thing that I had to do when I met the players is uh, make them feel good about themselves and make them believe again. You have peaked in the right time in the past with Boston winning a Stanley Cup. You've been part of a winning World Cup team. You've won everywhere you've coached, basically. I don't want to put you on the spot, but from what you've seen and what you have here in front of you, how close or how much of a winning spirit or winning elements are assembled here in Montreal? Well, I think there, there's there's a, quite a few, to be honest with you. You know, you, you've got some areas there that are extremely solid. And I think right now for us it is really finding our groove. I, I think teams that win the Stanley Cup peak at the right time. Uh, they also are as healthy as they can be at that time of the year. There's a lot of things that have to fall into place and there's always a little bit of luck that goes with it. So as I mentioned earlier, there's been eight seed teams that have won. Just goes to show you that it doesn't matter uh, where you finish, it's, it's how well you play at that time of the year. And you know, uh, you play your best hockey at the right time, you got a chance to win yourself a Stanley Cup. Claude Julien, thank you so much for your time and all the best. Thanks, Mark.